they're like, all right, you're either breaking up or you're going to fantasy suites. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So in my mind, you know, Katie and I were a shoe in, right? Fantasy suites, we're going to see where this goes. We were a pretty strong couple. Well, they had me locked up for about an hour before I went on that beach and talked to her and they were trying to convince me to break up with her. I swear for an hour, they had me in this room trying to convince me to do this. And I finally why? like, screw like, it. Why? I know. Very evil. Why? I don't know. And I'm like, all right, well, screw it. Cause they weren't gonna let me out until I said, okay. So they sent me out there. I'm already like in tears about this. Katie has no idea. So I'm sitting there for like an hour, not knowing what to say. And she's like, well, what the hell's wrong with this guy? Cause she had no idea that was just happening. Mm -hmm. um, and finally they're like, all right, screw it, Chris. Like, you know, ask her the fantasy suite. This was an hour on the beach. The camera guy was about to die from heat. Mm -hmm. um, I just couldn't do it. And then, you know, after that, they played it where on fantasy suite night, they had Katie, they wanted Katie to break up with me on fantasy suite night. Um, obviously we got through that. And then going all the way to the reunion, you know, I had a feeling it was going to be weird because I was the last person kind of to go out there. I was in the trailer forever, probably like six hours um, while this was all filming. And I go out there and I'm expecting like people like big round of applause and stuff. And it's oh, just no. dead silent. And I'm like, oh shit, this is going to be bad. Oh. Um, but yeah. And here's the thing is like, I've been around, I've been around this forever. So I can kind of expect anything for Katie. You know, that was just her second time being on the show. So it's more easy for her to kind of, you know, fall into like a, a trap or, you know, not have as much leverage as someone like, I guess myself would have. So I knew she, I was with her the day before I spent the whole week with her at her house before we went and filmed. So it was mm -hmm. like, I knew like I was going to go up there and she wasn't going to like tear me apart or like break up with me. That was like their whole goal. So, you know, she was trying to tell me like up there that she didn't want to not come up there with the ring. Um, but they just took it from her. So you said wow. that uh, you said to her, then like you blindsided me, were you blindsided about what she said about not wearing the ring or was it something else? Because you said that you spent the whole week prior with her. Obviously you would have known. I was 100% blindsided, 100%, had no idea. What, what pissed me off about it is that she went on, she she kind of went with it. Um, and, you know, where it could have just been like, cut it off and be like, all right, like, we'll figure this out later. But when I was trying to talk to her, like afterwards, like outside and they were following us with cameras, I was like, like, if, if you felt this way, why don't we talk about it for the last seven days we were just together? Like, right. why are you waiting? Why are you waiting for today? Yeah. You know, like, that's never going to work. Um, I was, I was pissed. I was really pissed. And, um, but again, I don't like blame her cause it was just, it's, it's a shitty situation. Um, and you can't really, you know, prepare yourself for it. Yeah. What is the status? Uh, obviously you're not together today, but what is the status of your relationship today? Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't speak. I mean, we talked, uh, after we broke up, we were like friendly. Um, but, but then it was just, you know, went our separate ways. She's out in LA and I was, you know, I'm in Denver and even dating, you know, long distance was pretty difficult, but yeah, um, yeah I haven't spoke to her in a while. 